Dear Patriots, before the news starts, please, subscribe to our patriotic channel by clicking the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to leave your opinion below in the comments section. Share the news on Facebook and Twitter so you friends see it. Thank you. A hair-raising photo of President Trump's new grandson is going viral. When you see it, you'll know why. If we know one thing about President Trump, it's that he loves his family. When his son Eric and daughter-in-law announced that they were having a baby, Grandpa Trump was thrilled. He was even more excited, however, when he saw what the baby looked like. One-month-old Derek Luke is the splitting image of his grandpa. Laura Trump just posted a picture on Instagram to prove it and it's quickly going viral. From the crazy blonde hair to the don't mess with me look on his face, this new baby boy is undeniably Trump. During an interview with Ainsley Earhart on Fox and Friends, Laura proudly gushed about Luke. He's a great baby, he really does not cry that much, he's so sweet. And he has a lot of hair. The new mom said of her son. Laura also posted an adorable photo of her little one in a Top Gun onesie that reads, Talk to me Goose. Seriously, could this baby be any cuter? Tom Hanks will lose massive amounts of fans after sick thing he just said about Trump. I honestly do not know why celebrities feel the need to tell the world their opinions on politics. We like entertainers for helping us take our minds off the stress of work and life, not for their political acumen. Somebody should tell that to Tom Hanks. The actor got received the Records of Achievement Award from the National Archives Foundation, and made a strange remark about history that seemed like a sideswipe at President Trump. People are upset about what's going on today. They're furious, they're frustrated, they're worked up. If you're concerned about what's going on today, read history and figure out what to do because it's all right there. Tom Hanks remarked on President Trump's actions that led to his ongoing feud with Congresswoman Frederica Wilson, DFL, as one of the biggest cock-ups on planet Earth in a later interview with CNN. Here are his full remarks. I'm only knowing what I read in the newspapers and what have you. And it just seems like it's one of the biggest cock-ups on the planet Earth if you ask me. This is a tragedy of the utmost consequence and it goes much longer beyond who's going to come out on top of the news story. I think it's very sad. I would just like one celebrity sometime to decline to share their political opinions. What's wrong with saying, I'd rather not talk about politics as my fans are all over the political spectrum and I'd like them to still enjoy my art. Why is that so hard for them? Dolly Parton is one celebrity that said exactly that in a recent interview with Fox and Friends. I've got as many Republican fans as Democrats, and I don't want to make any of them mad at me. I don't play politics. Plus, I'm an entertainer. I don't usually voice my opinion in a situation like that. Tom Hanks can learn a thing or two from Dolly Parton. Share this out if you agree. HDCNN, Life Z. Right before he fell asleep, John McCain did something so dirty to Trump that he should be kicked out of Congress. John McCain's hate for President Trump clearly knows no bounds. Last night, McCain hit a new low. He used his military career to lie about President Trump and call him a draft dodger. In an interview that was supposed to only be about the Vietnam War, McCain decided to go political and attack our president. Trump is unable to serve in Vietnam due to bone spurs, a fact that has been backed up with several documents and doctors. It's not like President Trump didn't try to join the fight in Vietnam. On September 17, 1968, Donald Trump reported for an armed forces physical examination, but the doctors marked him medically disqualified. McCain doesn't care about the facts though, he told C-SPAN. One aspect of the conflict, by the way, that I will never ever countenance is that we drafted the lowest income level of America, and the highest income level found a doctor that would say that they had a bone spur, McCain said. That is wrong. That is wrong. 
if we are going to ask every American to serve, every American should serve. Even the Trump-hating Washington Post was forced to admit that Trump was telling the truth about his health issue writing. Bone Spurs, a calcium deposit causing a bony protrusion on the underside of the heel bone, are a somewhat common reason for such deferments. John McCain's Trump derangement syndrome has officially become out of control. How dare he attack our president's integrity and patriotism? His vile loathing for our commander-in-chief has clouded his judgment and made him unable to perform the duties required of a United States senator. He needs to leave the Senate immediately. Breaking, Trump just made a huge announcement about Mike Flynn and Russia. As you might have heard, Special Prosecutor Robert Mueller is investigating whether Trump had any ties to Russian interference with the 2016 election. Several members of the staff, and aides, within Trump's administration have gotten caught up in the investigation, and have chosen to retain counsel to represent them. A very smart thing to do, even, or maybe especially, if you're innocent. Some such people are Donald Trump Jr., Reince Priebus, Steve Bannon, and Sean Spicer. Trump has announced that he will spend some of his own money, to the tune of $430,000, to help these guys out with their attorney fees. But he's not gonna spend one red cent to help former National Security Advisor, Mike Flynn. We lawyers are expensive and Mueller's investigation is taking up a lot of the lawyer's time. As you can imagine, this is ringing up very large legal fees. The Republican National Committee is helping to defray the cost of Trump and Trump Jr.'s legal fees. And Trump, in turn, is going to financially help his staff and aides. Be prepared, though, y'all. The media, libs will twist Trump's graciousness around, and accuse him of trying to influence possible witnesses against him. I suppose it could be seen that way, but, since the whole thing is a witch hunt, with nothing behind it, I believe Trump is just trying to help. Do you think Trump is being a stand-up guy, by helping out with illegal fees? Please comment yes or no, then share to gather comments from everyone. H. T. The Daily Mail Shocking report shows new Clinton ties to Russia no one thought would get out. Looks like the Clintons' ties to Russia just got a little bit more interesting, according to a report from Circa. A major Clinton Global Initiative donor also happened to have done business with a company led by a man who was investigated by the FBI for bribery of American companies. This gets a little complicated, so let's unpack. Russian company 10X paid about $3 million to an American firm, APCO Worldwide Incorporated from 2010 to 2011 to lobby U.S. regulatory agencies and help Russian interests. APCO began providing pro bono services to the Clinton Global Initiative in 2007. APCO CEO and Clinton supporter Marjorie Krauss signed a continuing contract with 10X in 2010, the same time top 10X executive Russian Vadim Milkarin was being investigated by the FBI for bribery involving American companies. Russia would later go on to acquire 20% of American uranium, with Hillary Clinton as a main actor in the deal, serving as Secretary of State. In this situation, it seems as though the Clintons are only one degree of separation from a Russian executive investigated for fraud during a highly delicate deal with Russia. APCO denies any impropriety, however, saying in a statement to Circa. APCO was not involved on any aspect of Uranium One, or the CFIUS process relating to it. APCO Worldwide undertook activities on behalf of 10X in 2010 and 2011 relating to civil nuclear cooperation, which APCO properly disclosed in detail at the time in public filings. Separately, since 2007 to 2008, APCO provided services in kind to the Clinton Global Initiative. APCO's work for 10X and APCO's work for the Clinton Global Initiative were separate and unconnected, publicly documented from the outset, and fully consistent with all regulations and U.S. law. It's difficult to know what to believe, 
and the mainstream media definitely isn't advertising this. But can you even imagine if such a thing happened to Donald Trump before or after his presidency? It would be front page, above the fold news every single day. Let's get this out there so people at least have the full story. HD Circa